Hey guys, welcome back to iFood Real. But if you're new here, my name is Olina and this is my healthy instant pot recipes YouTube channel. Every week on Friday at 9 a.m. PST, we show up with a new recipe. So make sure you subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos so you don't miss it because you don't want to miss it. And today's recipe is chicken wild rice soup. Our entire family loves chicken wild rice soup. I am from Ukraine, so I did not grow up eating it, but I know many of you did because it's known as Minnesota soup because apparently Minnesota grows a lot of wild rice, so that's where it's super popular. But there is nothing Ukrainian cannot do. And today we're making healthy chicken wild rice soup and it's hearty and thick. My kids love it. I think my husband's soups are where it's at for us because they're cheap, quick, easy, in instant pot, and healthy. So let's do it. Hi guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! So to make chicken wild rice soup today, I will be using my six quart instant pot lux. The recipe is also good for eight quarts, so you can use either size. Also, I get a lot of questions about cutting down the recipe for one or two people and using smaller instant pot like three quart or six quart, but cutting down the recipe. You can do that, but you have to keep the same cooking time. So first we're gonna chop the vegetables, add everything here and you don't have to saute anything and we're gonna go over all the tips and substitutions and everything you need to know about chicken wild dry soup in instant pot. So first we're gonna chop our onion, carrots, garlic, potatoes and a few tips. I don't peel potatoes, I just wash them really well and if you buy organic you don't really have to worry about the pesticides and stuff like that. And for mushrooms, you can use wild mushrooms, dried mushrooms or fresh mushrooms, but for fresh I recommend to use the brown or baby bella, mini portobello mushrooms, <laughs> brown mushrooms, because they just have more flavor and we're not going to saute them because instant pot cooks everything under pressure, releasing more flavor. That's why you don't have to sit here. And we will be making our healthy soup without two cups of heavy cream, traditionally used in all recipes online. You can see yourself. Or we will not, neither we will thicken it, thicken it with flour. And still our healthy soup is gonna come out creamy and rich and hearty, just the way it should be, without a hard attack. And I usually add vegetables as I chop them to instant pot. In this case, it doesn't matter if you add chicken first or vegetables first. Now, as for chicken, you can use breasts or thighs, boneless or bone in. 
remove the skin or skin on. You can take whole chicken and use pieces, drumsticks, whatever you want. But here is the best part. I'm using frozen chicken because who does not have frozen chicken? I constantly forget to thaw the chicken, even for videos and for recipe testing. So that's when Instant Pot is your best friend. Look, it's like frozen. I have frozen chicken breast and some frozen, very frozen chicken thighs. And you just add it here and that's it. That's the beauty of Instant Pot. It is the best. And now, the wild rice. I get asked this question a lot. Can I use any other rice? Uh, no. You have to use wild rice because it's called chicken wild rice soup. Truth is, white rice or brown rice is not going to taste the same. The only thing you can use there is the wild rice blend. I think it was, it was brown rice. I think it's Lundberg. Uh, farms, you can use that, but there have to be some wild rice because if you use white or brown rice, your soup is gonna be just like porridge. It's gonna dissolve and it's not gonna be good. Plus the taste of wild rice is amazing. It is not cheap, but you don't have to soak it and it's a treat and it's just delicious. Now seasonings, they're super simple. We're gonna start with mustard. One tablespoon, I'm using Dijon, but you can use yellow mustard. I've used it many times. Half teaspoon um, dried thyme. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. And you might ask, Alina, why are you doing garlic powder? You already added garlic. Well, garlic, I find it really cooks in instant pot and it doesn't add as much flavor as you would cook it on a stove or add at the end. So I do like to add garlic powder as well because it just adds more flavor. Salt. That was it for seasonings, like besides salt and pepper. Two teaspoon salt and pepper. And nine cups in this case of water. You can use broth, low sodium, I think I'm gonna go with water because there is already chicken, so when water cooks chicken, it becomes broth. And one of my best tricks and tips about Instant Pot that I use all the time, I use boiling water because then Instant Pot takes um, less time to come to pressure. It's one of our tips. So that was nine cups and um, see how there was PC max line and that's the maximum you should fill your instant pot if you want it to come to pressure. So try to keep it that way. I am right at PC max line. I'm just a little bit above. This is PC max. So I think it still will be fine, but we will see it should come to pressure, but just keep your Anything you cook in Instant Pot up to that uh, line when you're pressure cooking. So now we just close the lid and we're gonna cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes if you like your vegetables and rice to be like more falling apart. But anywhere between 25 and even 35 minutes if you really like hearty soup and tender vegetables is fine. Make sure the valve is to sealing and press manual or pressure cook, depending on the model, on high pressure and whether you want it keep warm or not. This is in some pot locks. Everything is cooking on high pressure, but on duo, you do have high pressure and low pressure to so make sure it's selected to high pressure. So inside pot will take um, about 20-30 minutes to bring everything inside to pressure and while it's doing it and towards the end you might see, especially with Lux model I noticed, um, steam coming out from here and eventually the pressure uh, pin will pop up and it will seal and that's when cooking time actually begins. So Instant Pot doesn't start cooking as soon as you press 30 minutes. It needs to come to pressure first. After cooking, we are going to release the pressure. And a side note, 
it's October and somebody, a friend, gave me this wild chanterelles and I went and picked some other mushrooms myself and I checked them yesterday with boiling with an onion so that, to make sure they're okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them here as well. I'm gonna be super brave. And another tip for you is you can open instant pot kind of like first five, 10 minutes while it's heating everything up and coming to pressure. It's not pressurized yet, it's not crazy hot, so you can add, open and add things to it. Now I am really, I'm really <laughs> going above the PC max line. Let's see what happens. So after Instant Pot has finished cooking, I recommend you wait about five to 10 minutes before you do quick release, or you can let the Instant Pot release pressure naturally. Because I had my Instant Pot super, super full and remember past that PC Max line, it actually worked. It pressurized, so it's fine. But it was really full, so we took it outside because I just don't like my studio to smell like food for days and it was releasing outside. There was a little bit more liquid than should be coming out. It just makes mess, but you can totally do it or just let it release pressure on its own. So then we open the Instant Pot. Ah, chicken wild rice soup. So all you have to do now, now we're gonna make it creamy and very hearty and thick. So you want to remove chicken, and I have these meat claws. Like remove on a plate and shred. I normally like to do um, shredding of meat in Instant Pot, but because we will be pureeing it a little bit, I don't want pureed chicken. Now look, it's all very cooked and falling apart. Mm, so good. Rice is tender, all veggies, this is amazing. So look at this chicken. It's like literally falling apart. I don't even really need to shred a lot. It's so tender from frozen. Now we're going to make it creamy with whole milk. Two cups of whole milk, 2% milk works as well. I wouldn't do 1% or skim milk, it's, it doesn't have enough fat content. So I would say two cups. Amazing. Mushrooms and everything. And now we're going to take an immersion blender and quickly give a few parades. Like you don't want to go non-stop. You just want to give it like a few stirs so it does uh, parade some vegetables and thickens it because potatoes have a lot of starch so it's like naturally thick soup. And when you puree, make, make sure you don't go like just go in. And do a few. And then you kind of like stir and see if that's the consistency you like. If not, puree more. And also keep in mind, when soup is sitting for a couple hours, it's gonna thicken on its own, like more rice and potatoes will absorb the moisture, so that will happen too. So if you're planning to keep it warm, then you don't have to worry about praying too much. All right, so now we add chicken back, our shredded chicken. This is so good! All right. And for herbs, I think parsley is the best for the chicken wild rice soup. Look at this beauty. Another thing is this soup freezes amazingly well, so don't be scared by the huge pot of deliciousness. You can freeze leftovers for up to three months. It will never happen to me. <laughs> we eat everything. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. And there are some even wild mushrooms. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look at it. This soup smells and looks unbelievable. 
It has wild rice, it is thick and creamy, no heavy cream, look at this. Vegetables, shredded chicken, fresh parsley, this is so good. I want a day taste test. This is so good, I just want to eat it. Yeah, taste test. Again. This is, <laughs> this is your bowl, this yeah. is my bowl. Okay. Okay. okay, do it. Mm. Oh, it this smells is, so good. This is really good too. It smells okay? so good. I generally I really like wild rice. Look at this. Look at this. Look how creamy it is. And as I said, as it was sitting while we were doing our video stuff, half an hour later and it's thicker. So when you're pureeing, don't go too crazy because it is gonna yeah. thicken up. Wow, those people. I died. Heaven in my mouth. I don't know if it's their soup. They just grow a lot of wild rice. They're very spoiled. <laughs> they have snow nine months out of the year. Oh my God, it's so good. Great do... success, great success. Now you do subscribe and well, let's see what you can do. Okay, so hit the bell button. <laughs> no, hit subscribe button. Hit it. Just, just like, hit it. Leave us... <laughs> okay. Leave us a... Uh, what? Comment? No. Okay. Don't forget to hit subscribe button, which is over there, and uh, click the bell icon so you can have uh, what? So you receive notification in your email every time we publish new recipe. Every Friday, 9 a.m. PST. I put real healthy instant pot recipes. Make it. It's so, so good. The soup is so good. See you next Thank time. Thank you so much. She's done. She wants to eat. Bye. Bye.